Welcome to Petra's Happy Place. I just spent the last 10 minutes <laughs> talking and realized the camera never came on. <laughs> I am trying out the new camera or the camera on my new laptop computer. I am really hoping that it works. So now let me try this again. My name is Petra. Welcome to my happy place. And uh, today I would like to join in the tag that was the 10 yarn questions. Um, Crystal from Bag of Day started this, I think this weekend, this past weekend, or this weekend, uh, the week, Easter weekend. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. It doesn't really make any difference. And uh, she tagged a couple people, but she said, if you want to just do it, so I'm going to do it. Um, so Patsy at field, she's got a channel. She actually told me I am tagging you. She didn't tell me in the video necessarily, but she told me on my Facebook group. So, okay. So the first, I have my questions written down. So I have to look down to read the question to make sure I get it right. The first question is, what is your favorite color yarn? Poiple. Poiple. Any shade of poiple. You can't tell it, but that is purple. I've got purple curtains. I've got, there's a lot of darker purples. There's purple over there, purple here. I mean, I got lots of purple yarns and lots down underneath that you can't even see. Purple. Okay, uh, what is your favorite weight of yarn? And I don't have one particular weight. I'm going to say one to three. One to three. You don't find a whole lot of two weight yarns. I'm just saying. You, you usually find, you can find fingering weight yarn and you can find three weight DK yarn. Very few places are, I have not found very many two weight yarns. The next question is, what is your favorite style of yarn to work with? And I'm not all that well versed in the different things, okay? Um, I know that there's roving, and I know that there's chain plied, and I know that there is um, uh, plied, you know, like four ply, you know, where they take the yarns and spin them together. So I'm going to say plied yarns. Um, and either a very tightly spun or the kind that I don't have with me here, but it has, um, or maybe I do. No, I don't, but it has like uh, four fibers and they're just very, very thin. It looks like thread, um, pieces of thread, and then they change color as you go. But, you know, if it's all together, I like that too. Okay, so favorite fiber to work with? It depends on the season. In the winter time, I love working with Superwash Merino. I love working, especially if it's got um, like a little bit of uh, bamboo or a little bit of cotton or, uh, you know, a little bit of something to make it super soft. Alpaca. Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Um, that always feels good. Um, but in the summertime, I love cottons and bamboo. Bamboo cotton is perfect. Certain cottons. Certain cottons are, are really good, too. Uh, my favorite brand. Okay, I would say Hobby Lobby, but I'm going to retract. Or Yarn Bee, excuse me, Yarn Bee. But I think I'm going to go with Kristen Omdahl. I love, I love Kristen Omdahl. That would be my favorite brand. Although close second and third and fourth. <laughs> I like yarn. Okay, but I do love Hobby Lobby yarn. I do like uh, Valley yarn. And I love Willow yarn. Those three are... I, I mean, I just love it all. What can I say? Okay. Now, the next two questions, I broke down into two each. 
So I've got two parts to each. So the first one is, what is my favorite online store? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna rule out Kristen Onbell for just a second because I already said her, okay? But I'm gonna say webs. Webs only because it has a lot and I love all the stuff, okay? But what is my favorite yarn from webs? I love I have loved working with um you know I I I have to I have to find it to know the exact name of it. Tiburon, that's it. Um, Tiburon. Uh, no, no, no. I don't know where I put it. It's Tiburon yarn. Yeah. Now that bugs me that I can't find it, y'all, because I love it so much. But I can't find it, probably because I used it all. Tiburon. <laughs> Taki. T-A-K-H-I. Taki Tiburon. It's a, it's a cotton bamboo blend. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. Um, now, what is my favorite brick and mortar store? That would be Hobby Lobby. What is my favorite yarn from Hobby Lobby? That would be, mm, sugar will cotton, sugar will cotton. Can't go wrong. It's so soft. It's luscious. You could use it for anything. Sugar will cotton. Although, I mean, I came this close to saying Rainbow Rhapsody. I love Rainbow Rhapsody. Okay. Would number... Eight, what do you do with scrap yarn? I give it away. <laughs> I honestly, if somebody wants my scrap yarn and lives locally, I usually pass it along to allow them to use it because as much as I want to use it um, to make things, I know I'm never going to get around to using it. Um, but whatever I do have left I will be making blankets and that's it, just blankets. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that depends on what the yarn is too. If it's leftover cotton, then I'll make, you know, washcloths, right? So what is my favorite thing to crochet? I would say wearables and that includes tops, sweaters, wraps, shawls, ponchos, yeah. Things that we wear on this part of the body. <laughs> not hats, not ear warmers, not gloves, anything here. Just on from here to your hips. That's it. That's what I like to that's what I like to make. Okay, now this last one is a doozy. If you could make one more thing before you die. One thing, you can only make this one thing, what would it be? I would make a um, very intricate, beautiful, thin, probably using either a cotton thread or a cotton or bamboo blend fiber and make a beautiful bed covering. Now, Petra, you might say, why in the world would you want to make a bed covering? That is a good question, especially if it's the last thing I'm ever going to crochet. But I figure a bed covering, especially if it is very large, it could be used in so many ways, obviously a bed covering, but it could also be used as a blanket. It could be used as an heirloom blanket to be passed down from generation to generation. And that, that is what, in a nutshell, I hope, and I, 
Maybe it will come. You all can pray for that. But that is what I hope in my very heart will happen, is that the things that I make will be loved. Um, obviously, the ones that I give away, not the ones that I make for myself, because I know I will love the things that I make for myself. But the things that I make for others, that they will be loved and passed down from generation to generation. And that even the things that I make for myself that are not necessarily wearables, that are blankets that I know I have spent a long time making, that those things will then be passed down from generation to generation. And um, that my great grandchildren or great, great, great grandchildren, whatever, will one day look back and say, my Grandma Petra made that. My Oma Petra. My Oma, you know, what made that. And um, that's what I would like to do. One thing, a beautiful, intricate bed covering. Yeah, it would take a lifetime to make it, but it would be the last thing I would make. <laughs> Okay, guys, as far as individual tags, uh, there are so many that go through my head right now. I would hate to even start to mention um, all of them because I would forget somebody and then I would feel really, really, really bad. So I'm going to say for anybody who has um, a crochet channel, anybody who crochets, anybody who knits, because these questions can be applied to knitters as well. Just change the word crochet to the word knit. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Um, and anybody who um, is listening to me, you are now tagged. Tag, you're it. I can't wait to hear your answers. Um, so I hope you have a, a, I hope you've learned a little bit uh, about me here and um Please comment on if some of these might have surprised you. Maybe they didn't surprise you. Say, couldn't you be a little bit more creative? I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.